So this is the marquee effect we shall be having. You see the text scrolling from left to right. You can make it to be from right to left rather. You can make it scroll from left to right. You can even make it to be horizontal. That's like a climbing a hill or going down a hill. So I want to show you in this video how we got this effect. The first thing we want to do is that we want to add a section. We'll add a flex box and then I'll add this first one here. Now let me give this a top margin to separate it from this section up here. I'll give it a top margin of let's say 200. So it's going to be really far so we can see clearly what we are doing. And then inside here I want to add another container. So what I'm going to do, I'll click here and then I want to add a container. I'll drag and put there. I'm going to add in a text block here. I'll click here and add a text block, a heading. And I'll just, maybe just write here, moving text. I want that to be all caps, upper keys, moving text. And then I want for it to be black. I also want to change the font type, font family to be Montserrat. I said text, text, no, it should be moving text. And then coming back to the style. I want it to be, let's see, 700 or 800. I also want it to be, let's say 20. Montserrat you can make it whatever size you want I'll make it 30 now I also want to add an image here so I'm going to click and add an image beneath here I'll upload an image let's say this one which I downloaded from flaticon.com the link is going to be in the description Somehow it's not uploading. Let me check my internet connection again. Okay, the picture is uploaded now. I'll insert that. This is a picture of a good car. Looks like a Tesla. I want to edit the size of this picture. I want to make it custom and I'll make it 50. Let's just say 40 by uh, or 60 by 60. 60 by 60. So that is the car. Uh, since it's flat, I'll make it 70 by 70. I'll apply it. So that is that. So now this inner container, I want to change the alignment to be the direction rather to be horizontal. And then I want the alignment to be center. Center. So you see both of them are on the same line right now. Next thing I want to do is that I want to click on this text here, come to the advanced tab, and I want to set this to grow. I want to do the same thing here. Click on this, come to advanced tab, and then I want to set it to grow. And then I will copy this text. I just want to copy it a couple times and I want to duplicate. I will just copy and paste rather. I'll paste it here. I'll copy the image too. And then I'll paste here. Now if you paste, copy and paste too many times, it's going to have some skewed effect. You know, uh, some of them are going to be batched together. I'll copy. And then I'll paste. Now paste here. I will now copy this. And paste. I'll copy again and then paste. I'll still copy again and paste. I think this does, it will give us the right effect we are looking for. If you duplicate, copy and paste too many times, you are going to have a problem because some of the texts are going to be skewed together. Now what I want to do is that I want to give some classes both to the parent container that's uh, this uh, section and the container inside. 
So for this uh, uh, entire section, I want to click on these six dots, go to advanced, and where you see CSS classes, I want to give it a class. I'm going to give it a class called moving. As you see on my screen, I'm going to share this CSS code with you. I'll give it this class moving. I'll paste there. And then for this inner container, I want to give it another class. And the class is going to be this year, moving group. Now, make sure it's identical because you see moving group, it appears here on this code, on, on this, um, this uh, CSS code moving group. So if you change the name here and you don't change, it does not correspond, you have a problem. So I will give it the CSS class of that or control V. So we've given a class to this uh, p um, section and we've given a class to the inner container. So for us to get that, um, for us to get that marquee effect, what we need to do, the first thing we need to do is that we need to duplicate this inner section here. Let's duplicate it. So it's duplicated. But now what I want to do is that I want to give this parent section a direction of horizontal so you now see they look kind of skewed here but when it starts moving it will not be skewed if it's actually still skewed when it starts giving the marquee effect then we'll delete some elements so let's go back to this code we'll copy the entire code now and when we paste it it's going to give us that marquee effect this is css i'll come here and then we need to paste it on this entire section. Mind you, you need Elementor Pro in order to be able to do this. If you need to get Elementor Pro, I have a link in the description. I'll control V. And when I paste that, it should already be moving. Let me check that again. Control V. Did I paste in the right place? Let me go back. Control V. Oh, I didn't paste in the right place. Let me see what I did. It appears I didn't paste the code in the right place. Okay. Let me paste that CSS code again here. Control V. It doesn't paste somehow. Let me just right click and paste. Okay. So you now see the effect. The marquee effect, it's moving. Let me try to see this on the front end. So you see what I told you that when we paste too much, uh, we, we copy and paste too many times, we have this particular issue here where some of the text, they are joined together. That's because the space is not enough. So what we need to do is that you can either delete some of these, these elements, like you can just as it's moving you select on one of them and then you just delete or you can go ahead and give some spacing you know change the spacing and the alignments what i want to do for now you already know the solution to that don't paste too many times i want to show you something about the custom css which i pasted somehow the custom css is not here so with this custom uh, CSS code, which I pasted here, there are quite a number of issues you can actually take care of. Take, for example, now, if you don't want it to be scrolling, you know, horizontally, you want it to be kind of like curved, you can unselect, uncheck this, um, this uh, part of the code. When you remove that, because I hit the code, so when you remove that star and the braces, you see it goes up. If you want to change the alignment, how, you know, the the Y index, you can make it to be minus 7. You see, it rotates more up. You can make it, let's say, 14. And then you see. So I'm just going to put it, my, um, let's leave it the way it is. Let's say minus 4 or something of that sort. And then you also see that it's scrolling from left to right. If you want to change that, that's the marquee effect is scrolling from left to right. If you want to change that for it to be from right to left, then you can just remove this reverse. You see it's now going down instead. 
So that is how you can just play around with these settings and get whatever effect you desire. And you can also go ahead and change the text and all that to make it look in whatever way you desire. You can also change the height. You can change the gaps. You can change the gap to maybe four. You see, it's going to change all of that. You can change the padding. You can change the bottom padding and top padding. So all of that, you can go ahead and do it in whatever way you desire. Even the minimum width, which is 100, you can change it. You can change that, let's say, to 70. When you check it in the front end, you are going to see the effects. So I'll just leave it as 100. There is no need going and making too many changes here. And the animation scroll, let's say we change it to 5 seconds. You see it scrolls faster. If we change it to 15 seconds back, let's see now we want to make it 60 seconds. It's really slow. Let's make it 30 seconds. And you see the effect there. I think 50 seconds is okay. I'll leave it to 15 seconds. So you can change this. And then you can also make this. Let's say instead of minus 5 degrees, you want to make it to be 10 degrees instead. You see, it rotates it in the other direction. So that is how you can play with this marquee effect. It's all up to you. Do with it as much as you want. So if you found any value in this video, please like, subscribe uh, to this channel and turn on the notification bell. God bless you. Peace.